Okay, now this is a serious question. You might not take I'm it seriously. It. It's been 20 years since we uh, last saw the first Tron. Yeah. Now we have the sequel. Yeah. When are you going to hook up with John Cusack and bring Hot Pursuit 2 back to the screen? Uh, well, w you want us to go back down to Z-Watt Nail? Maybe somewhere different, but you could bring Ben Stiller back. I just watched that the other day on the big screen, and that movie really stands the test of time. I, I, thank you. I like to think that it inspired John Hughes to do trains, planes, and automobiles. And uh, he was on the Paramount lot at the time, a real genius. And uh, I think in a way he sort of updated that whole story uh, when he'd made that film. But, yeah, John did a phenomenal job on Hot Pursuit. I will say that, and he, you know, I wish I could go back in a time machine and really take full advantage of all of his talent. He, you know, he was, he made that movie. Now with this, are you excited about what you're seeing as far as what they've done with this movie, and do you think it lives up and honors the first one and sort of surpasses it? Yes, it does surpass it. It's, uh, I... I worked on trying to get this film going for about 25 years and in a way Flynn's story is my story. I felt a little bit like I was lost upriver in the data stream, which is what happens to Flynn. And once we had those basic pieces together, it was like a relay race. I handed that over the best I could come up with to Sean and Joe and it was just they were the perfect people to hand it over to. I've become a sort of Obi-Wan character in this this whole thing, and I love that role. You know, I'm trying not to get killed at the end of the second act, which is what happens to Obi-Wan, but uh, it's been a generational change in cyberspace, in the real world, and in the making of Tron. Well, unless somebody was messing with me, I understand that you're a bartender in the film. Is that true? Yeah, that's supposed to be a secret, I guess. But I wouldn't go to the film just to see me as a bartender. There are much better reasons. <laughs> now, what, how do you see this going to, um, from this part two into part three and part four and part five, as they've been talking about? The, the, uh, this film had a lot of catching up to do. It's been 25 years, so a lot of things had to be just laid out preliminarily. A lot of things are, are you know, are, are poised to be expanded on. And uh, I think there's an unlimited potential because our story is the story of technology. Uh, and the internet and all this technology is not going to go away. And I think that if artists can stay involved with it and reflect on it, and dramatize it, it's nothing but good for technology and it's good for the artists.